hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today it is the turn of my beauty entries for april 2021 so today i'm going to be sharing with you all the products that have come in during april i'll let you know what the boxes were if i've paid them myself if they've been gifted to me in pr and then we'll like run through and i'll let you know what's in each category so during my empties and my entries video i just focus on five categories and i sort of break everything down into hair care skin care makeup body and miscellaneous so like miscellaneous products could be like beauty tools like snacks drinks things like that that we get in our boxes that aren't going to go into like our beauty inventory um yes yeah, so march was ridiculous i had so many products and it was just like <laughs> even i was quite shocked i was sent so many things which is amazing but it did mean that my numbers were really really high so april is a bit better i have to say and I have got an awful lot of miscellaneous products for April, which is great. So it brings that total right down because I don't include those in my um, inventory. So let's get cracking. Um, April 2021. So I'm going to just run through and tell you all the boxes that I have had this during the month and then um if you want to see any of these and you know in closer detail then please do check back on my playlist and things they'll be on there um also ignore the back of my room i'm in a slightly different area in my room today filming and i actually really like it i've come into a corner like the opposite corner to where i normally film but i've got like my um desk and everything i like my work surface where i normally craft in front of me usually i'd have like that behind me and not in front of me but I really really like being able to sort of place everything in front of myself as I'm filming I've got a really like rubbish old ring light which is about eight quid from B&M <laughs> and I've managed to it's attached to my tripod really well I didn't think it would attach but um yeah I've, I've screwed it onto my tripod legs and it seems to be working I have got like a big 18 inch ring light but it's just it gets in the way and I definitely can't fit it in the corner of this room it's too big so I thought I'm gonna give this a go see what it's like um, let me know um, if it's clear enough for you um, filming this way because if it is I think I'm going to really stick with it because this way I can sort of film my beauty things here if I'm doing crafting things I can film it here I'm going to be getting new furniture and things rearranging my room sorting out everything behind me so please just try and disregard that for today and um, it's probably going to be like this for the next month really I've got um, essays and things to write for my course at uni as well as working etc etc and looking after my little um, grandbaby grandson <laughs> but yeah real life and hopefully you're here to see me and not my messy background just now and then in time if we're patient it'll all be beautiful and done and then um, yeah but i'm really really um i'm really liking sat here filming is is quite nice so let me know what you think so april 2021 let's see what boxes i got as i say all of these boxes are on my channel already if you want to see them in closer detail do go check them out that's great but i will be showing you all the products that i've got one by one as we go through but as a brief overview so we um my first thing out was like glossy box and that was a pr box and um, i got discovered beauty as well which was a pr and then i was sent some nail polishes from madam glam um that was also obviously gifted to me and then i got the rocker box which was kindly gifted i'm really lucky and um got the try it box which you say it's gifted everyone can get the try it box you just have to sign up to it and um, that's free and it's basically just a uh, like a market research box i think really you can get like food and snacks and things like that um if you check out my unboxing video of that um it has links so you can just go sign up and then you fill in a survey and then if you meet their sort of criteria and things each time they've got a what's it called a campaign then you get sent a free box of stuff and you just have to make sure you fill the surveys in at the end and then they'll continue to send you boxes um i got birch box which i pay for myself and then i had them um, degusta box which is like another snack box and that was sent to me in pr really lovely i used to sign up to that myself anyway so i have got a playlist for degusta box if you're interested in that but yeah it's a snack box and it's just great well say snack is foods and it, it could be cereals drinks sweets store cupboard ingredients anything just absolutely loads so yeah check that out um i've got the rocker box and q and a which is like a skincare brand i got a beautiful skincare box sent through to me um just a couple of weeks ago actually and that was in pr and then most recently is it most recently no i had them like muse box for april which was also sent to me in pr 
and um, I got the Glossy Box Easter Egg in PR as well. So I opened that right at the beginning of April. I combined that with my um, April unboxing. So I had like my April box for Glossy and my Easter Egg and that was like amazing. Such a good little um, gift there. So that was really, really lovely to receive that. And then, I don't know if you saw just a few days ago, I did an unboxing and a review really of um, Rustic Barn Candles. So I sent some wax melts to review and try out in PR, which was really lovely. I got a massive bundle, as you'll see. Um, I'm going to chat a little bit about those. Will I? Yeah, I've got them here, so I'll show you them. I want to just sort of like clarify a couple of things which I'd sort of mentioned in my video, but I feel like I need to update it because I've been a... I've, researched a bit more so I've got a bit more information really so let's get on um where shall we start shall we start with skincare um this is my biggest category well it's not quite my biggest category that's a lie so yeah skincare this is everything here I've decided now I have a um I've got like a drawer system with these little skinny drawers in and um each time a box comes in I split it into um, one of the five drawers so yeah I've got my five different drawers going on so it's really really easy I feel like I'm a bit more organized so this is everything in skincare so yeah 17 products in total and there's some really really lovely things so I won't be telling you loads about the products I'm just going to show you what I've got and then what I'm hoping to get used up so yeah we've got a little peel mask which is it says I am strong it's by Beauty Mellows so this looks really nice quite a positive kind of um message on this one i don't know if i need to hold it on this side now i'm here i feel like i'm a bit skew with i'm not sure we'll get my positioning sorted out so yeah we had this little face mask a lot of products from q a so i had the um face and neck cream i don't know what the five htp means i need to find out what that actually stands for um i should have done that before i came on I thought it might say might give me a clue on here, but it doesn't. So yeah, I got that. I was really, really impressed with this box. Again, I got the squalane, which is a facial oil, um, peptide facial serum. It's really bright. There we go. And I'm sat quite far back from the camera to usual. Um, what was this one? The eye serum, a caffeine eye serum. Loads and loads of stuff. I've got lots of lovely skincare to get through. Um, a hyaluronic acid cleanser, which looks really lovely. Um, there was this one, probiotic. Oh, Doctor's Formula, a radiance serum. I'm really looking forward to getting this. This is really expensive, it's Doctor's Formula. So I've got that. And I've got a different Doctor's Formula product as well, which is an anti-aging day moisturizer. And this looks so nice. How bougie does that look? It looks really, really lovely. So I cannot wait to use that. Um, I've got another Q&A thing here, which was like a licorice lip oil, which looks nice as well. So I think that's all my Q&A things I got from that box. I've got some Skin & Co Morning Dew. What's this? Ultra Gentle Botanical Face Cleansing Gel. So hopefully I'll get through that quite quickly. It's not very big. I'm actually starting to get some of my categories in my skincare and particularly my hair care are really starting to like I say deplete <laughs> but um, I'm definitely getting through lots and lots of products now and I'm starting to see areas where I'm going to soon going to have to like I'm lacking which is so strange I've worked really hard this year to use products up and um, I've got a collagen boost moisturizer from Balance Me um I'm currently using some collagen um, from the Inky List, and I swear to God, it's a miracle ingredient. It's amazing. Um, I've been using it now about nine, ten days, and I honestly think my skin is so much better already, and it's sure it has to be that. Um, I've got an Algology, um, well, blah, 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 what is this? Hydra Replenishing Booster. I've got... I definitely I think we get loads of skincare in all the boxes and um, I'm going to tell you after once I've shared all these there's two boxes which I think had a really really good mix of products um, and in fact let me finish the skincare and then I'll tell you that yeah there were two boxes because I highlight everything I'll show you how I code it all and um, so at a glance you can see if the skincare heavy makeup heavy got a really nice mix and then yeah there were two that stood out for me last month that had a really good mix across all sections and um, this is the one that reminded me a little bit of the um, Kiehl's Midnight 
about recovery oil and it is um, by Huygens and it is some sort of night serum facial oil stuff <laughs> um this looks lovely uh, okay is really well known for like the face masks and things this is an illuminating serum and i think this is currently a choice on latest in beauty as well so there is um an offer on right now i've got it on my community tab where you can get a 12 month subscription for 99 pounds and you get automatic vip status which is really really good to be fair but it's about eight pound dollar box but yeah that's on there as a selection i noticed I got this in a different box, not from Latest in Beauty, may I add. Um, and then we've got a, this, I love the packaging on this one. Um, just like that ombre to pink. Is that not pretty? And that was Derma Treatments pH Balancing Youth Serum. So I don't know if it means I'm going to look beautiful and young and radiant and gorgeous and lovely. <laughs> but yeah, I'll take that. I'll have it. And an antioxidant eye contour cream um, by Feel Free. We've had loads and loads of eye creams and someone actually commented in, I think it was my glossy box, maybe, just saying that, um, just so many eye creams. It's true, like 18 months ago, I had no eye creams and now I am actually swamped with eye creams. I don't know what's gone on in the beauty box kind of thing this last 12 months or so, but we are getting eye cream after eye cream after eye cream and i just think now kind of like enough now like no more eye creams for like a good six months let us just start to use up what we've got um but what i don't mind are these like little eye masks which go underneath your eyes and they're really really lovely so yeah that's by vita masks i've had them before i think and they're really really nice so those are all of my skincare products coming in this month let me just show you kind of what i do with my um stuff as it comes in so when it comes in i just start off with a little reminder about um my color codes and i just i highlight everything so yeah makeup's yellow skincare's pink body is green hair is orange and miscellaneous is blue so you can kind of see i can see at a glance if something's really heavy with one thing or another but what i did notice was that like, the rocker box for april was really really good we had something in every section um which was great i mean then the thing that popped it into the miscellaneous was because we got like a couple of little chocolate pots but birch box hit all the targets as well which was brilliant um muse box wasn't too shabby but it didn't have any body products in but I've got so many body products, I don't need any right now. So yeah, it's just a really good way of having a little look. And obviously, um, like the Easter egg, but that's been and gone and done. And you'd expect that, because I think there were like 10 products in there. So you expect that to hit all the different categories. So that was my skincare. So 17 coming in in skincare. Next, I think I'll do miscellaneous. I haven't got everything here um, because... Um, Part of it was I had my Fab Fit, not Fab Fit Fun, I had my Degusta box and that's like food. Also, I had my um, Try It box, which is a lot of drinks. So I don't have a lot of those things here in in with me now because of my kitchen cupboards and things. I'm not going to bring them up and we're not really that interested about that. What I can say is I do have an unboxing for my Degusta box. I have an unboxing for my Try It. So if you want to see those, which are included in this bit, you can check them out there. And here I've got a few of my other things as well, just from the miscellaneous section. So you can kind of see the sort of thing. What I didn't mention at the beginning of my video when I was telling you all the boxes, I have been sent something as well um, in PR from Conturv. I have yet to do a video for this, but I'm going to show you. And this is the bag it's shapewear i'm really really excited i haven't taken it out yet i tried it on but it's basically like you like the ones that are like is shorts that come up really high waisted to sort of give you a nice smooth line i cannot wait to try that i'm really excited i'm so thankful to them for sending me this out it looks amazing i'm going to link them down below so you can see that um a few other things as well which i got in the miscellaneous section so i got an led lamp which is from madam glam i have my unboxing of that so yeah little lamps so i can do my nails at home we had the bag from Birchbox, which is great. So it's like a silicone um, bag where you can keep your sandwiches in. You can put beauty products in. You can freeze food in it. You can heat food up in the microwave in it. It's like 
amazing absolutely amazing um and that's a sasha bag i've counted this which was from um discovered beauty this was we instead of getting a box last month we got this gorgeous bag and everyone went mad for it so i'm counting this as a product because i can keep it but obviously it's just miscellaneous and on my instagram i did let you know that for may there are 15 <coughs> excuse me bags let me have a swig of my tea 15 bags that they've found there's no products for them and yeah there are no products in them but they have got the bags so the first 15 people that place an order for the may box will get one of these bags in with the may box which is amazing that gorgeous really really lovely my throat is so dry today i've been talking like mad now let me just show you very very quickly the wax melts that i got so this is from rustic candles and um, rustic barn candles sorry so yeah i've got the three different clam wax melts clamshell wax melts i have got a video on this um so those are counted as three even though they break up into individual melts i have got the um three little pots here the pods and i had two sample wax melts as well now i was saying like how i thought they were quite expensive however since then i've done a bit more research and the i think the fragrance time for like burning them is like 50 hours which is apparently amazing i don't know loads and loads about wax melts but which makes them much more affordable and brilliant and everything else i have got discount codes and everything check out my other videos i've got discount codes actually for pretty much everything um because obviously I get sent things in PR, so check the description box if you want to get signed up. Don't pay full price, get yourself a deal. Um, now, what else have we got? Got a Saint Tropez um, canning mitt, which is really, really lovely. That was from my um, Glossy Egg. Got this just recently in the Muse box, which is a lovely fan brush. And it's like a square handled fan makeup brush, which is really nice. And um, two little chocolate pots. Um, as well so i think they were from rocker box i think so let me just pack those away so those are all the miscellaneous items i don't count them in my inventory so they will be deducted off my total at the end of this video which will make it a little bit more respectable because there were 33 products altogether lows and lows from um like the gusta box if you look there the gusta box all miscellaneous and also um try it all miscellaneous so loads and loads and loads and loads so let's get rid of them so next we have um body care so i've got 12 products here to share with you all today and um, we've got this gorgeous gorgeous looking um shower gel which is by beauty papier look at that i think that was quite expensive and it just looks so nice um i'm really really enjoying shower gels and things and i've never tried anything by this brand before smells really really delicious so i cannot wait to try that and i've also got some bath salts which i love so by minus 417 we've had some great products from this company actually and it's just hydrating dead sea bath salts serenity legend i just think that packaging looks really really lovely really lovely i've got a jelly foot soak um from just for fee which i am sure years ago maybe two years ago lightning last did a review of this on her channel is that right can i remember that um let me know if you've watched that or oh, michelle if you are watching let me know did you review this i've got a really weird feeling that you reviewed this on your channel um and it's just like little granules that you put in a bowl and then stick your feet in and it goes all jellyish really really weird i have got my nail polishes which i got from Madame glam really really lovely so i've got like a base coat a top coat and then three different like pastel shades really really lovely to receive those so that's very very kind i cannot wait to use them and um, staying on the nail polish thing i had a nails ink very very bright nail polish and the shade of that was looking super juicy i think that's really summery really summery um, talking of summary, we've got a Hawaiian Tropic and this is like a body spray. Again, that looks great, doesn't it? Look at the colour of that. And it was quite, I think if you remember, it was like very sort of, just very easy to wear, sort of daytime fragrance, nothing too grown up. And then 
I got this and I actually wore this today. I kind of broke my rule. I don't normally use any of my products until I filmed this video and then they cut, they go into my inventory and then I can use them. But um, we nip to Ikea today just to sort of start sussing out some um, new furniture and things for my room. And then um, I just wanted to wear this and it's by Juliet Has A Gun and it is um, Musk Invincible. I think I've written in my book, Music Invincible. I think I did write it. Anyway, it's Musk Invincible. That, um, sorry, Invisible, not Invincible. Oh my word, I'm having like a bit of a, So it's Musk Invisible. That is the fragrance from Juliet Has A Gun and it is just the most beautiful, beautiful perfume. I can still smell it now, I put it on this morning. It smells absolutely gorgeous. Um, quite expensive, um, full size, but really, really lovely. And then my final product I have is a one hour tan from Saint Tropez. Um, it is the Self Tan Express of 50 mils. And it's really good because I got the mitt as well in the eggs. This is from the Gloss Box Easter egg. I had the mitt, so I've got a mitt and the tan. I really don't have any excuse other than the fact I'm absolutely ridiculously pathetic at tanning. I desperately want to. I want to do lashes. I think as soon as all my um, written work is out the way, I'm going to just honestly just start having a bit more fun with my products um, and using them more. I did the mini review the other day of a face mask. I'm going to start doing more. And I think um, like for lashes, it'd be just quite fun just saying, right, I'm going to be sort of trying them anyway. I might as well say, like, let's just do a video, have a chat. I can be just a bit more, like, relaxed and informal about it, let you know what it's like and how I get on, you know? So, like, just, yeah, like, little speed mini reviews. So that's my plan. I'm really wanting to just to, um, I don't want to just do unboxings on my channel. And I don't want to just do this. I just want to, I don't know, have a little bit of variety and just some videos that are only five minutes long, you know, other videos that are a bit longer. But... If I can produce really quick videos, I'm more likely to get content out, you know, because I'm having to spend ages editing and filming and blah, blah, blah. Usually takes me about 20 attempts just to say my intro because I get started and then I hate it. So I'll stop and I'll start again. <laughs> so, yeah. Right then, moving on, we have got hair care. Um, so I have five products, only five. I think last month it was quite low as well. I think it was like the lowest um, category. And I am getting through a lot of hair care products. I'm really, really pleased, but I've started to see my numbers, as I say, dwindle um, in my collection, which is good, but it's also really strange because I haven't been to Boots or Superdrug or anywhere. In a couple of years, I've not bought anything. Everything I use comes from boxes. <laughs> everything i just don't buy anything at all like i haven't even been and bought shampoo and conditioner in the longest time i just use everything from my boxes right then so we have got uh it's by wonder beauty so we've had a few things as well by this company and it's scenic root hair treatment um it's only a small little thing but i quite like the look of that i don't know i just i'm quite into like hair products i really really like them and then this i'm excited to try this i love scalp scrubs and it's the awake organics hibiscus mint stimulating root care and this is a scalp scrub as well i've just got this um a few days ago from muse so i am honestly looking forward to this so so much um i sort of showed you a little bit of it on my video but yeah that looks just really nice i can't wait to use that i've got a shampoo bar i haven't used it yet um did we get this in birch box maybe um i can tell you actually was it birch box yes it was and so it is the argan oil and rose oil and it's a shampoo bar by green frog botanic it just looks really nice i think quite a few people have tried this already i think sussex sandra has tried it i think ruby's beauty desk or rain on beauty one of those two ladies has tried it as well and i think they quite liked it in fact i think sussex sandra really liked it so i cannot wait to try this and see what it's like if we can go away from like all the plastic bottles and things that's that'll be really really good um, yeah, so I'll be interested to try that. That definitely might be one that I could do a review on. Um, Grow Gorgeous, Defense, Detoxifying Scalp Scrub. So I've got another scalp scrub. I thought this was the same as what I'd already had, which was like the normal sort of scalp scrub you get from Grow Gorgeous, but it's a different one. So um, I used Grow Gorgeous shampoo and conditioner today. My hair just smells lovely. I love their fragrance that they use. 
everything kind of smells the same in their range and it's just really really nice so yeah i've got two different scalp scrubs so my hair should be looking amazing i had to cancel my hairdresser's appointment the other day um my husband had a cough i couldn't believe it so he had to have a um covid test the day before my hairdresser's appointment i was absolutely gutted and so yeah i had to cancel my appointment because i didn't know what his results would be even though i was pretty certain it was just a cold which it must be because his test has come back ne negative which is brilliant but yeah it just meant i've had to delay my hair appointment so i'm going in a couple of weeks it means that i'm going to be going into my birthday next week um so I am fifth god I'm 50 next Tuesday. Um so it means that I am gonna have roots for my birthday <laughs> and my hair will be getting done the week after my birthday, but that's life. And do you know what? After the year we've had, it doesn't really matter, does it, if my hair's not done. Um I still can't go inside anywhere and eat a meal. Um I've booked um a table for lunch at a lovely um restaurant in York through the day for like for my birthday because me and my husband are a day apart so my birthday's first so we're gonna have our lunch out in york for my birthday and then we're gonna have dinner out at a really lovely like um like pub that's got all these like little huts with heaters in and everything so we're gonna do that for his birthday on the evening so we're sorted um so at least if it's cold on his i can wear a hat and cover my hair up <laughs> Um, I've got this by Christoph Robin, my final hair product. I'm going off again on a tangent. And it is a, what's this? A cleansing, purifying scrub of sea salt. Oh, I didn't realise it was another scrub. I've got three scalp scrubs. That is like crazy. Christoph Robin um, is sort of like a well-known hair brand as well. I've had something from them before, which I wasn't that sure about. This one smells really lovely, actually. So I'm looking forward to trying that. It smells a bit like... Do you remember when I had that shampoo and conditioner last month and I said it's like sexy, sexy man? It smells a bit like sexy man. So yeah, that's good. Final category is makeup and I have got 11 products in total. I've got all my little leaflets from all my um, boxes. Does anyone keep these? I never know whether to keep them or not. Um, I kind of keep them for a bit and then I just put them into recycling. Um, I should probably keep them because it reminds me what to do. But then I get on Google and check. So, makeup. 11 products. We've got um, an Estate Jumi Baked Highlighter. I already have a, a highlighter by Estate, but this is a different one. It's like a pinky lilac one. It was quite nice. But God, I've got so many highlighters. Like, so many. I have got a, oh, this little eyeshadow quad from Sophia and Mabel, which is like a new brand to me and got this in Birchbox. Was it Birchbox? Was it Glossy Box? Oh, it might be Glossy Box. Um, I think it was Glossy Box. Yeah, Glossy Box. And it was just a really like everyday kind of like pretty little palette. I've just swatched them already. But how cute is that packaging? Um, I just think it's really, really nice. It has sort of like um, Kath Kitson kind of vibes, I think. Um, I had this, which I've only just got in my um, Muse box. It is amazing. Check the packaging. It is a lipstick by Gorju and it is California Burger. And there is a mini burger in the packaging. I just think that is the coolest thing. Love that. Oops. I've got a few lipsticks this month. So I've got this lipstick and then I had a lipstick also by Laura Mercier. And it was in, it was quite red. Ooh, very red. Um, but a really proper little mini and a really pretty packaging considering it's a mini. I just thought that was really, really nice. Um, another lip product I had was um, a Carmex lip balm. Naturally, intensely hydrating lip balm. It's in watermelon. I do love lip balms and I really like the ones in the wind up like this, especially for work because I'm not having to put my finger into the pot and onto my mouth. So it's just, I think, especially for me, like, yeah, I, I don't, don't want to be doing that at work. So I'm happy just to have that. And I use lip balm an awful lot at work. Um, I've got a NARS Laguna bronzer. I still think I've got one of these. Um, there we go. If I have, did I swatch this in the end? I can't remember if I checked, but I, I'm, I'm still certain I've got one. Um, did I swatch it? It'll be on my video. I need to check back on my video. Um, I can't remember if I swatched it or not. If I have, I'm, I'm just going to have a look because I'm sure I've got it. I'm really, really sure I have. If I've got it and I've swatched it, I'll, I'll pass it on to friends and family. <laughs> um, 
yeah but that was that i've got two little twok eye pigments i have got four eye pigments by this brand already from a different box and this one was another banger and pepper dem um so those are those there and they're like just amazing they scare me a little bit the pigments because i think obviously you need like your, your glue and everything else and they, i get so much fallout but if i don't use them as makeup i'll use them in my crafts so they will not be wasted um i had a blah, 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 blah. <laughs> a mascara by the beauty crop and it was fabulous flocking lashes um i'm sure we've had a beauty crop mascara before but i don't think i've had this one so i haven't tried it yet so we'll give that a bash and see what it's like we've got this is massive by the way this next product i think it's far too big for what it is so it's a cream blush by i'm i think it's downtown or downtown paris it's dwtn paris um look at that it's ginormous I just think that's ridiculously large how can you use that as a blusher it takes forever to use up but yeah there's so so much in there Ooh. so we've got that and then a bit of a cult state um cult product isn't it, it was a kat von d tattoo liner it's just a mini but it's honestly one of the best liners you can use it's amazing it sort of stays put absolutely fab so those are all my products so we had 11 makeup, 17 skincare, 5 hair, 12 body and 33 miscellaneous, giving us a grand total of 78, um, which I think last time I was well over 100 last month. So yeah, 78. However, 33 of those are miscellaneous. So I just deduct them off the total because they're not going into my inventory, making it an April total of 45. Now, I did a boo-boo because I have got another package of hair products, which I haven't yet featured, and I forgot to add it into my turtle, so I'm going to add those onto my May turtle. I need to do a video for it, so I'll get that done in the next couple of weeks, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, April turtle is 45, which I don't think is too bad, really. Not, not really when you look at all the boxes that I had. So I definitely think I can make a dent on that. I'm not, I haven't counted up my empties yet for April, but I've got quite a few, but not as many as I could have. For some reason, I had a really quiet couple of weeks um, like using products. I stopped using body lotions and I wasn't doing as many hair masks and um, not as many, like my skincare was being a bit pants. So yeah, I feel like it may have suffered a bit, but I think I've still got quite a few things in there and I need to start pulling my socks up for May and start using some products um I need to get on with my project pan things get those filmed and uploaded but it's like the month's flying on already we're like halfway through the first week of May what's going on so that is everything I know lots of you enjoy these videos so please let me know if you, if you enjoy watching these and if you're happy for them to continue on through the year I think it's a really good um it's useful for me to see what areas I've got lots coming into and then if I need to do giveaways or pass things on I know what categories I need to target skincare is just yeah I need to get get a hold of my skincare I think and just make sure that I'm using up my minis if there's anything full size that's really nice you know I think I'm gonna just have to spread the love a little bit I think so okay that's it I'm gonna go thank you so much for watching gosh over half an hour sorry guys I do talk a lot <laughs> um let me know if you have if I the, the quality of my video was good enough in this area if it's lit enough lit well enough it is very dark outside now it's gone six o'clock at night so it's not dark but it's dull because it's pouring down um but hopefully I think this ring light might be okay I don't think it's too bad it's not the best but it's not the worst and then yeah I'll see you all again in my next video enjoy the rest of your bank holiday let me know what you thought about line of duty finale last night what a pile of pff, wasn't it disappointing i'm so sad at how it ended i'd been looking forward to it so much and when i watched it it was just rubbish i'm so sad i'm gutted <laughs> anyway and i don't ah oh, h i don't believe he's the fourth man it just seems a bit weird to me anyway i'm gonna go let me know what you think about that one and i'll see you all again in my next video bye guys Mwah. bye